All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm to the point now where I got to do my C notches. So I think I'm going to go this height, um, which to the bottom here, from here, from the top of the axle, I'm pretty much at about like eight, well, nine inches. So nine inches. So I think I'm going to go ahead. I already leveled it. So I'm level. If you guys can see. I'm level there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark here and here so I could cut. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. But first I gotta remove this bar right here so once I remove this bar then I'll mark these areas where I have to cut so that I could place this in and then uh, weld it okay all right so I got the bars off took them off so now I'm gonna put my C notch back on clamp it down measure my height again get it level again and then I'm gonna mark it so that I can cut it alright so there's my marks that I'm gonna cut and this will obviously be this way so those are inside marks and then I'm going to once I see that this one is cut and it's actually where I want it to be I'll try it on the other side, so then I'll try it over here, and then if, if it looks good, then I'll, I'll cut the other one the exact same size, and then right now I'm measuring from this section right here to here, right here, so I'm measuring from here, from there, to there. And it looks like on this side, I might have to be about a half inch forward. And then I'll just have to fill this in with weld or a little piece of steel. Um, just so that they're both the same. Um, yeah, so next thing I'll do is I'll cut those pieces. And uh, we'll measure everything out. Okay guys, so I got this cut already, went in and cut it, um, but now it's almost level, except for like this part right here, it needs to go in more, but on this side, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it kind of bulges out this way, so now I have to go in here and cut it with the grinder, kind of grind it out on this section here, so that I could move it further back a little bit. And that way it'll it'll be nice and level. Um, so yeah, that's the next thing. Okay, so I got this piece ground up right there. And now it's nice and level. You guys can see. And then this one, I just have to move just a little bit and tack it in, and and it'll be in. But everything's good to go I'm gonna go ahead and tack it in there all right I got this side leveled and tacked in so now I'm gonna grab the the back piece put that in and then make sure it's nice and level where it needs to be and then we'll go from there all right guys well I got this side all burnt in um, so I had showed you guys where I cut this piece where I was going to cut it out. I got it level from the bottom to the bottom of this section right here to the bottom of this or the top of this of the axle to the bottom of this section here. It was 9 and 1 16. So what I had forgotten was that the back side I thought the back side was just like the front so that I was gonna have to cut everything up but it's been a long time since I've had this 
but the back side you have to fold in all the the pieces and I'll show you guys that in a minute because I still have to do it to this side um, then I got to check my I think one of my tires might be flat so I have to put some air in it so that this side goes up just a tad um, but yeah I got that welded in it looks good I just need to cut out the center section and then there is on the center section on on this side and this side there is some metal pieces that you cut and you put in and you box box that area in I can't remember if there's one for the back side here but I'll, I'll check um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the other piece that I have to fold and then uh, we'll kind of go from there I think I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and upload this video um, and then tomorrow when I do this side I'll show you guys when I fold it how I'm gonna weld it and how we come back and measure everything out because I did even though I had I measured even though you fold the back side I still have to cut it so I had to cut it to make sure that it was still level at my height so on this side I ended up taking off two and I think seven eighths two and seven eighths on this side and then on this side I think I took off in one inch yeah, I think it was one inch and two and seven eighths, something like that, because it was obviously it needed to be shorter on this side and a little longer on that side for it to be level. Make sure it was level going this way and this way, and it's all good. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys that piece, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so here's the other the back piece, and this back piece, when you buy it from a uh, where did I buy it? I bought it from Paul Horton Designs, welderseries.com. Um, and they're pretty cheap. It's like, I think it was like a hundred bucks. I don't know what the price is now. I've had this kit for almost three years. That's how long it's been taking me to get some time to actually do this. But uh, here's the back piece and here's the front piece. I already have it met pretty much measured out and ready to be cut I'm just gonna double check my measurements on that on the driver's side to make sure that everything's good to go this piece here is laser cut and all you do is you get some uh, some vice grips you clamp it down then you get this adjustable wrench and you pretty much hold it down and you start to pry it up or down whichever way you decide to go I'll just go up and then you get you a square so you square it off you make sure that it's nice and straight and then you go ahead and you start welding I ended up using my TIG uh, my Everlast TIG welder just to get some more practice in since uh, I've been trying to learn a little more but uh, you know I, I think my welds were all right it penetrated what it needed and then on the areas that I thought needed a little more I just went ahead and used the MIG welder and everything worked out uh, the only thing is on um, I need to buy some more consumables because one of the pieces you guys can see right here it ended up popping popping off I don't know if I tightened it too hard or or what I ended up doing but uh, I need to order some more of those so yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this video here and Please uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a, leave me a comment, and uh, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you.